Is in the kitchen cornflakes, put the milk in Stack the money high like the Vodacom building I don't Snapchat, I don't know where your girl's at Instagram got you caught up in that thirst trap Met Stilo in Hillbrow, straight on the block If you saw where I am, you would think I'm the fuck We connected by the shop, but I'm still weary For the cops and the neighborhood watch I say I wear chum, oh, salute us for the 8k Killing these bars, you would think it was a rape case I'm running the game, catch my breath I'm 8 paid, taking the crown and keeping it hidden in a safe place I wonder how how much money can the safe take? I wanna fill it up till I see that there ain't space. Make money off the music like Sam or else I get caught up in the trap. Bando, salute to the boys in and YG joining the brass are still hating the girls still coiling. The punk ass boy so homo. But don't you know that I'm loco? Shit. <laughs> I wrote that verse. Bunny in the ghettos of Joburg. None of you swear there. None of you swear there. Only a few. What do you think? You think I can't hear this thing? I got the ears of a sparrow, and the speed of a mongoose. They go out this. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, we have gathered here today for a special reason. A special reason indeed. For these things. The techies. The techies. Now, for those of you who know the song, Techies, it was released in 2016 already. It's an old song. For me, it's an old song. I know some people don't know who Young's the CPT is, so for some of them it's going to be brand new. But for me, it's old. Okay? It took me one year to get this video done. One year. It's the longest video I ever had to circle with. Other videos I don't really circle. This video took me a long time to get done. Because I had to get everybody on the same page. I had to make sure Lemkus was happy. I had to get a good production company that could execute the video. I had to make sure the white gen was on board. Everybody was on par, on top form. You know? Uh, got you just come here quickly. Come, here. come stand here with me. That's my oldest friend that's still with me today. Okay? Yeah? <laughs> you must stand on the thing. You must stand on him. Now, me and this man, how long we brass? I don't know, from like, a, we're friends maybe from, let's say, the teenage years. But I know you since I'm like 10 or 9 years old. Could be. Now, me and this man almost got into a heavy roller ray, stray ray, fighting, whatever you want to call it, over techies. He had a Carmelo. Or some of you know what that is as a Jordan. So he had a Carmelo, and I had a Jordan 21, but I wanted the Carmelo. No, it was the Carmelo, it wasn't the Griffiths, it was the fucking Carmelo. I remember it. No, I gave you the Jordan 21, the, the white and blue, white and baby blue. Yes. So, we now had this whole argument over the techies and one, and we were almost going to tear each other's fucking heads over the pair of shoes. And uh, lucky we didn't, lucky we didn't, and we're still friends to this day. But now my story with techies goes very deep. Whatever, man, bro, fuck, man, stop in interrupting the story, man. The point I'm trying to make here is me and the techies go very deep, okay? Now, life is all good and well now. Can we just have a round of applause for Jack Lincoln, please? Look at this shop. Look at this shop. Look at this. Look at this place. It doesn't feel like we're in Cape Town here. I feel like we're overseas somewhere. And I know that because I just came from overseas yesterday and the shops look like this. It resembles international quality and status and we should all be proud of that, that we have this kind of level and standard here in South Africa and Cape Town could be exact. This is the oldest sneaker shop in South Africa for those of you who like history. So, I used to murk techies back in the days. Let's just get that shit out of the way now. I used to sell techies. I got robbed for techies. I almost died over techies. And there's other people in the room who can tell you the story. I don't have to say it. The reason I brought him up here is because nobody else knows it like him. Because he was there. You see there with that? Look at that picture on the go. You see there? This nigga used to sleep there. Not in the house. By the camp. There. On that stoop. I used to go fetch him there every day. That is where we come from. So for everybody who thinks, like I said, life is all good and well, and now I get tickets for free. I don't buy it anymore. But still to this day, Callum has to tell me, my bro, don't take tickets from the street anymore, my bro, please. Man. Wait until we give it to you. Because I'm still in that merch state of mind. 
I still think I need to hustle techies and shit. I don't need to do it anymore. But that is how deep the story goes. And that is why I said it took me a long time to shoot this video because I wanted to make sure I did it right. I got all the necessary Owens together. I got all the Owens used to respect when it comes to techies. We got Rolo, we got Hayden, we got Biggie, we got Justin. We got all the men so that actually know about this culture before Instagram, before Twitter, before all that social media shit was popping. That Owens was already doing this that you consider cool today. And so was I. But we were just doing it then. So all the techies on the street, bro, we had all that shit. We were selling it. I was in high school that time. I was doing it in high school, but that's how I made my extra money. That's how I made money so I could look quiet. You know? And for me to stand here today inside Jack Lim, because a shop that I came to, Richard, I came to this shop when I was a lady, I came here not to buy anything, just to look. We used to go upstairs, because that's where all the dope shit was. Upstairs there was a little bun, I'll never forget it. There was like a drum, uh, one of these uh, container cheese, and it had a clump in it. A clump, you remember that? And inside that bucket was a sign that said, Sale. Vince Carter's on sale. Imagine that must happen now. There'll be a fucking line right down here till Dunkin' Donuts and Owens right on top of the hill there. So it just goes to show that the popularity and the demand has increased for techies nowadays. But I can tell you, for the Owens who really were part of this thing, before all of that, it means a lot more to us than just a shoe. It symbolizes something else. It's a status. It's a reputation. We bought certain shoes because we know certain Owens wore it. And because of their rank in wherever, whatever area they were staying in, we wanted it because of that. We didn't want it because it was the latest. We wanted it because of what it represented to us. It means coming out of the struggle, but looking fly. You must remember the government put most of your families in the fucking ghettos. And they still found a way to slut it when they came out of the house. We still made it look cool to be poor. You can ask this man. The things we went through just so we could look the part. When I started rapping, I was still broke. I was still murdering techies. But I made sure when I went to that shows, I looked like a rapper. I looked the part, you know? And this video is very important to me. I put my mother in. My mom is in this video. My dad is not here with me today, so I made a t-shirt with his face on it. There's a brother I talk about in the song, Paddy. Paddy just walked down the road that day. He didn't know I was shooting the video. Paddy just walked down the road and I said, oh, there's Paddy. And then we put him in the video also. It's personal. I went to be personal with this. You know, I included my area that is Weinberg there, not fucking upper Weinberg there that used to know Weinberg Park. Let's bro. Let me tell you something. The Cape Flats is not in the Cape Flats anymore. The Cape Flats is Cape Town. And trust me, they've driven past your house. They know exactly where you live, bro. It's fearful. Trust me, they know where you are hiding. He's trying to hide in the suburbs, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. They're everywhere. The Cape Flats is everywhere. Just remember that when you leave this place today. The Cape Flats is no longer in the Cape Flats. The Cape Flats is everywhere. The Cape Flats is in his room, that's what he just told me in my ear. That's a bit disturbing, but nevertheless, I understand. I understand what you say. The point I'm trying to make here is that <laughs> this, this culture of sneakers and techies and what it symbolizes to us is much more than a shoe. Jack Lemkes is a cornerstone in the, in the colored community. This is where we come on Eid. This is where we come for Christmas. December, this place looks like a circus. You know? So, I have to pay respect to Lemkes for including me in that legacy because I am now part of that. They didn't get me because I'm the PG rapper. They got me because I'm the cab start night that represents Cape Town in a way that they are pleased with. And because of that, that's why I'm standing here now. We didn't build the stage. I wanted to stand on this thing so you can see. I will sit down so I can come to your level even so you can see I'm not above you. I don't place myself above anybody. We're all equals here. I want you to understand that as your representative, as your Cape Town rapper that goes off into the world, I don't make the sound... I don't want to make it sound... Um, how can I say it? Like you must have sympathy or anything. But... I represent Cape Town to offer as well. And I make sure I do that accurately. I don't lie. I don't talk about things I don't know. And I don't perpetrate a certain image. When I go out there and scream cabs at night, I'm not saying all colors is like that, but I'm saying the life that we grew up living, it was like that. I didn't grow up 
in the typical colored area, but trust me, there's nothing different about where I live than the most dangerous area of the Cape Flats. There's nothing different about it, bro. Maybe there's more gunshots there where you stay. Maybe it's instead of two Owens dying, there's six Owens that die, but trust me, I know brother that died, I know brother that's in jail, and I know brother that's slutting tackers like this in prison. We get phone calls from jail still to this day, bro. The best tech is where you got to? In the throne. The best tech is. But that's because they don't wear it. You must understand. They're just coming there. You know, they're not walking around in the tech is never enough. You know? And he's the one who wears me. He told me, yo, young man, all the graffiti that you wanted. But in the point, bro, you must go there. I said, motherfucker, I'm not going to jail for tech is. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. That label, YG, is in the throne. So, that's the long and short of the story. <laughs> We are representing Cape Town and we are representing all the sides of Cape Town. The good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the wonderful, the intense, yes. every part of it. And we do not leave any stone unturned. If I have offended some of the listeners tonight, good. Because we need to come out of that comfort zone. It's 2017 now. It's 2017 now. There's room for everything to exist. There's room for us now and we need to acknowledge that. We need to take control of that. I think I've spoken enough now. Look, without further ado, let me, let me just give my thank yous and gratitudes to Jack Lemkes for allowing us to have this platform and to invite all of you here to witness something that I don't believe has been done in South Africa yet. It will be done after this, just remember that. They will do it now. But this is the first one, okay? I have to thank also the main general sneakerheads, the tacky copper over there, Guys, there's no use all, I don't have to mention names. I did already, but I have to salute you all for being a part of it. I have to salute uh, Stanley John Films. Thank you very much for putting this product together. As I said, it was a long time coming. I was circling for a while, but you guys came through in the end and executed it wonderfully. And uh, I have to give a shout out to Flexford as well for uh, sorting us out with the, with the cappies, not the tackies, the cappies. And then also, last but not least, to the YJ. Salute us. And last but not least, actually that was the last one, but this is not the last one. I need to thank all of you for believing in me. Because if you don't believe in me, then I mean nothing standing on the stage with a microphone in my hand. So, shukra very much. Thank you guys. Woo!